What are some hidden dress codes people wear to identify themselves that you have to already know about to notice? So this is probably a very specific Norwegian thing, but the color of your hat is signaling your availability when hiking in the mountains. Red hat means taken, green means available, and orange means that you're open for a chat. This is important knowledge if you're trying to pull a Norwegian, because hiking is the only, non-alcoholic, activity where a Norwegian will ever talk to a stranger. Ever. I used to wonder why certain people in my office would wear the same colors as each other sometimes. Turns out they were listening to a radio station here in NYC that would suggest a color for you to wear that day. Hawaiians wear flowers behind left ear to signify married. Right ear to signify single. I grew up spending a lot of time in the Great Lakes and overall sailing culture. The height of manliness is a pink Mount Gay baseball cap. No, I'm not joking. The caps are given out at major sailing races, since Mount Gay Rum has a sponsorship. The caps are originally red but if you've used and had one for a long time, it fades to pink. You want one. You can also tell, in port, who is a local and who boats, by their dog. Locals like big doggos for guarding against animals and pulling sleds, huskies and husky crosses, and sailors like medium-sized, water-friendly doggos. Don't like to get very big ones because they're hard to lift in and out of boats, eat, and poop out more, but don't like toy dogs either because they're not tough enough to stand the weather in the water. Mostly Aussies, small retrievers, and the occasional tough terrier. Red shirt means you're expendable and aren't coming back from the away mission alive. This thread is making me mildly anxious about what messages I am inadvertently sending because of random clothing and jewelry choices, lol. Reminds me of when I was in elementary school and we were told not to wear red or black to school because they were associated with certain gangs. Anything with pineapple print on clothing while on a cruise means you are swingers. Silver Crocs equals I have multiple bottles of soda in my fridge jorts equals I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin bandana plus eyebrows equals I ride a motorcycle bandana plus no eyebrows equals I am receiving chemotherapy. T-shirt with ripped off sleeves equals my kids will jump on your furniture and my reaction will be inappropriate. It's an old sailor's tradition to wear a golden earring. Don't know if it's just the Netherlands or worldwide, but some of the mainly fishermen towns here have their own specific type of golden earring. So if you see a Dutch guy wearing a big golden earring with a detailed design, you know he comes from a fisherman town. Golden earring tradition was historically done in case a fisherman would fall overboard, the golden earring could cover the costs of a proper burial. Ties and specific designs can signify which university you attended or private club you belong to, to such an extent that with certain tea makers in the UK, you have to prove membership before you can buy the tie. Sunflower means the wearer has a hidden disability. Some places like train staff to recognize them and offer assistance. Stagehands wear black. Check for a crescent wrench in the back pocket to confirm. If their shirt or pants are mildly magnetic, they are probably a machinist. Military uniforms tell you a lot about the person wearing them beyond their name and rank. You can tell what campaigns they've been involved in, what professional military education courses they've completed, their proficiency with weapons, their occupational specialty and their level of proficiency, how many years they've served, and at least in the USAF, their mage come, wing, and possibly squadron of assignment. Another little secret of the military dress code has to do with hats. A person in uniform wearing a hat indoors indicates that they are armed. The weapon may be concealed or carried openly, but it is a fast way to determine who in a room has weapons. Socks with sandals means you've pretty much given up. Small stainless steel or iron pinky ring on your dominant hand as an engineer, specifically an engineer who's pledged an ethics oath. Not exactly a secret, but not well known either edit, specified which finger. Old money dresses differently than new money. When I was a teenager a lot of the working class, multi-generation in the area kids from the very rural West Virginian area I moved to wore these, to my teenage eyes, very funny looking polka dot caps with downward pointing brims. At the time I just assumed they got them at this store that still had a lot of 70s dead stock and it was a trend because they were cheap and it was the 90s and we were irony poisoned. It was pretty widespread across a few counties though. They were mostly worn by the kids who already had decided they were not going to college, 
whether by their own choice or their own circumstances. They were welders caps. Welder is an aspirational job in the area, if you plan to stay there after graduation. They were signifying they planned to stay and work in the same field their dads did. It didn't even occur to me what it was all about until some high school reunion. The style of kippah, yarmulke Jewish men wear can tell you how religious they are, where their families from, their political views, which sect they are, which rabbi they follow, etc. Please North Face Jacket I'm crossing campus in the fall. Not wearing a mask means you're an asshole. If you see someone with a tattooed on wedding ring it's usually because they work with machine tools or electricity where having something metal and or conductive on their hand while working can lead to very bad things. Handkerchief in the back pocket is something the gay leathermen or women wear to symbolize they are on the hunt for a date. Or it was used to symbolize a sexual fetish or asterisk right pocket meant you were a top or dominant. Asterisk left pocket meant you were a bottom. Yes, I've been to some interesting parties. Edit, I'm specifically speaking about the leather community. I was heavily involved when I was younger and went to many underground parties. Even though I'm not gay. It was a lot of fun. Different communities may have had different rules. Yes colors also meant something but I can't remember, it was so long ago. Edit 2, for me, this experience was in the later 90s to mid 2000s. I'm sure that these practices had been going on for much longer. The community was very much underground until kink became more mainstream in the mid-2000s here. Apparently wearing something with upside-down pineapples on it is to signal you and your spouse are swingers. In China, your zodiac year is your unlucky year, so your unlucky year occurs once every 12 years. The way to mitigate the unluckiness of the said year is to wear some form of the color red each day doesn't need to be a complete red outfit, just something that is red as a part of the pattern. But wearing red every day is a dead giveaway for their age, 24, 36, 48, 60 in the workplace, thus explaining the phenomenon of the red underwear gift. The red underwear is a way to beat the unluckiness of your zodiac year while blending in. So some water cooler talk could go like, hey, did you notice that insert name has worn red three sevenths days this week? Is she 24 or 36? Fascinating stuff. White cap sleeve shirts under sleeveless tops or dresses, Mormon. Edit, to cover their temple garments, special underwear. BDSM O rings. They're easily missed as anything other than jewelry to probably 85% of the population. But the other 15%, it's pretty glaringly in your face when you recognize it for what it is. And hash X200B. Edit, to those saying not everyone who wears it can be judged as in the BDSM community, while there is some truth to that. That is literally the reason BDSM O-ring jewelry is discreet because it can easily be passed off as just some pretty looking jewelry. Yes there are exceptions to everything in life, and some people truly don't understand just what it is they are wearing, but the vast majority of people wearing O-rings are wearing them for BDSM purposes. Asexuals sometimes wear a black ring on their right middle finger. Dierendel, traditional German dress. If you tie your bow, from the apron, on the right it means you are single, middle equals married and left as widowed. I believe, it has been a number of years since I was told about it and I might have it backwards. If they run around naked, they're either nudists or exhibitionists. Two lighting bolts on a ring mean your great-grandfather wasn't a war hero, thanks Opa. The clata has four different meanings depending on which hand it's on and which way the crown is pointing. Wearing a Canadian tuxedo, not Canadian. Likely American or Britney Spears. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.